Uh, going over to the political part podcast, you have RFK Jr. dropping out and endorses Trump while roasting the DNC and how much they've changed in his lifetime. Now, this is brought to us thanks to George over on X Twitter, in which George says, quote, breaking RFK shocks mainstream media reporters by reportedly saying the Democrat Party is now a party of corruption, big tech, big donors, etc. This is historical. It was, it was actually so historical, you know, you know, the DNC is scared because all the mainstream media cut his mic. Couple as soon as they started talking about certain things that would get you kicked off the YouTube, well, yeah, they didn't like that. Even Sky News from Australia, which is, I mean, I would say most politically speaking, you had to assign politics to the news outlets. I would say that's much more you know, middle or even more right on average. Now, I don't know if his voice is infinitely better than me, but he does have some great substance to what he's talking about. So without too much further ado, go ahead and I'll play his summarized speech, or that, probably the highlight of his speech, I would say. I attended my first Democratic convention at the age of six in 1960. And back then, the Democrats were the champions of the Constitution, of civil rights. The Democrats stood against authoritarianism, against censorship, against colonialism, imperialism, and unjust wars. We were the party of labor, of the working class. The Democrats were the party of government transparency and the champion of the environment. Our party was the bulwark against big money interests and corporate power. True to its name, it was the party of democracy. As you know, I left that party in October because it had departed so dramatically on the core values that I grew up with. It had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big ag, and big money. When it abandoned democracy by canceling the primary to conceal the cognitive decline of the sitting president, I left the party to run as an independent. The mainstream of American politics and journalism derided my decision. Conventional wisdom said that it would be impossible even to get on the ballot as an independent because each state poses an insurmountable tangle of arbitrary rules for collecting signatures. I would need over a million signatures, something no presidential candidate in history had ever achieved. That's ridiculous. But also, DNC is doing this. Republicans are doing that too. They have a vested interest. I interviewed a libertarian candidate or a former libertarian candidate a couple years ago on the Topping Talks, my interview broadcast. And yeah, he told me how it wasn't just the Democrats pushing this, also Republicans. So he wanted to have the requirement for him to get signatures to actually be on the ballot and get on the debate stage. That number was greater than the other parties. But far to digress. And then I need a team of attorneys and millions of dollars to handle all the legal challenges from the DNC. The, nader, the naysayers told us that we were climbing a glass version of Mount Impossible. So the first thing I want to tell you is that we proved them wrong. We did it because beneath the radar of mainstream media organs, we inspired a massive independent political movement. Agree. And they did a lot better than I thought they would do. I mean, I mean, it was up there with Ross Perot, one of the, I mean, one of the legends from this great state. Some would argue the great country of DXS. Probably best known for building businesses like electronic data systems, also known as EDS, which is but in fact, one of the signs I actually had behind me, that was from the podium from the EDS, um, where they actually have an underground auditorium back in the day at the old uh, old headquarters in Plano, Texas. But yeah, I think RFK, I mean, great speech. Now, one of the weird things about this speech, I didn't bring up specifically in that segment, was he said he was dropping out of the swing states, specifically. But he said he's going to stick, he's going to stay on the ballot in the states that are deep blue and deep red. Suspect, and they say maybe you know if there's an undecided, you know, undecided between you know between Trump and Kamala, to bear what the odds are of that is, then he would be able to stick in it like that. It was a really unusual situation. I don't know if he's trying to save face or just want to, because I think it's a bizarre move. It's weird. And again, he did a compliment Trump. He talked about you know he most likely I think he's going to get a seat in Trump wins. He's going to get a seat on one of the cabinet positions in the Trump, maybe hopefully had the FBI or the CIA or maybe the FDA, maybe. But yeah, he has a collaboration with Trump and he endorsed him. 
But it is, again, that's a little weird for that one little caveat. Now, going to some of the top comments, you have, well, I was going to say, very long, but specific name. You know exactly what they're all about. Ultra Super Duper MAGA. This profile says, quote, wow, he just obliterated the entire Democrat Party. That was awesome, getting 469 likes. Jeannie, Trump won, Carrie Lake won. Long profile name, but it'll stand. It says, history is being made. Kennedy is supporting Trump. Unprecedented, dangerous times cause unprecedented action. And it's a picture of Kennedy and Trump and says, let's make America great together. Game 444 likes. Philip Anderson says, let's F and go. Game 424 likes. The flag guy says, Democrats are now the party of fascists and communists. King 771 likes. Well, they do want to control the prices of food and housing. It's been shown that big tech did collaborate with them and censor millions of Americans. Hmm. They want to take our guns away via mandatory gun buybacks, which again, if you don't comply with it, they, they uh, take your life away. So, uh, yeah, it's not uh, it's hard to kind of, it's hard to uh, push back against that, that statement. Going down, you have Terry says he's correct. The Democrats froze him out of the election, gained 222 likes. Yep. Any contrary statements here? Again, there are some independents who will not vote for anyone except a libertarian candidate. And I understand. And part of me does respect that. You stick to your guns. And let's see here. Nick J says the Democrat Party has swung so far Marxist left that it alienated a Kennedy legacy Democrat. Let that sink in for a minute. Rational de Democrats are very, are, uh, are rare. Unquote, gain 46 likes, despite my speaking ineptitudes. Mark Thompson says the mainstream media hates the truth or they wouldn't spend so much time trying to bury it. And 71 likes. See here. Dad of BS says, as Reagan said, the Democrat Party left him. King 76 likes. Let's see here. Uh, not, I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing a, Yeah, I'm not seeing any contrarian statements. Like, no, you're, we can't be wrong. We might be there. There's how many comments are total? Uh, one, well, 1,300. Couple, a couple of AI pictures of Trump and Kennedy already hanging out. So we'll see how much of activity RFK Jr. actually stirs up on the campaign. Does he join, start to join Trump in the rallies? Maybe that'll happen in a couple minutes. Who knows? But yeah, it's very, I mean, they're, if you're a libertarian, there's really only one choice in terms of, you know, Kamala versus Trump. So for a lot of folks, it's obvious. But I mean, so it's good that he endorsed Trump. It'll be interesting to see how many people from the Libertarian Party follow um, RFK Jr., start to vote for Trump. And let me know in the comments, actually, do you think, what is the greatest percentage of the Libertarian Party members going to vote for? Are they going to vote left for Kamala or are they going to vote right for Trump? Let me know in the comments, because as always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, i greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.